All right, so you just ordered your R5, your R6, and you're wondering to yourself, so which adapter should I get? Should I go with the cheap adapter or should I go with the more expensive adapter? Let's take a look. Hey, this is Shane Long, wedding and portrait photographer here based in Minnesota. And today I wanna to talk to you about the adapters you can use to mount your EF lenses to your new EOS R5 or EOS R6. So I've been shooting with two of the EOS R for the last two years. And this camera is amazing. It has replaced my 5D Mark IV simply because of its face detection and autofocus capabilities. I much prefer shooting with a mirrorless now than I do a DSLR. But I had the same debate at the beginning. Should I go with the basic adapter that just amounts it or the control ring adapter that also adds the control ring? And I can say right now, get the one with the control ring if you like the extra customizations. So for me, for the last year, I have set my control ring to be ISO because on the EOS R, I had my shutter set to the main dial, I had my aperture set to the back dial, and then I had my main dial set as my ISO. And I can say it worked fantastic. I could fine tune adjust my ISO simply by just rotating the dial. And actually using the adapter, I really liked the placement of it on the EF lenses right up by the camera because it just fit right where my hand was. I could fine tune adjust the ISO, just go up another third or down a third to hit that exposure spot on. Now with the R5 and the R6 having the extra dials, we've got a dial on the camera, a dial on the back of the camera, and a dial where your thumb is. I'll probably switch and put this dial that's on the lens, I'm gonna set that to switch between my focusing modes. So I can go between single autofocus point, face detection, multi-zone, because I'm constantly switching between those based on the situation. So if it's a portraiture and the people are just looking straight at me, then I'm in face detection mode. If it's uh, the, the couple's really, really far away or I'm focusing just on a landscape, then a lot of times I go with a single point AF. But if it's a bride walking down the aisle, then I switch to a multi-zone autofocus mode and just track her down the road. What's amazing about this adapter though is it makes all of your EF lenses act just like any new RF lenses you're gonna get. Because you're gonna customize and set up your camera and probably set that control ring to do something for you. And when you put on an EF lens or an EF-S lens, you're gonna lose that functionality if you don't have the control ring adapter. There's no shake, it feels 100% like native to put the EF lenses on there. It clicks in smooth, it's made of very high quality. When I first saw the price tag, I was a little bit like, man, that's a lot of money for an adapter. But once I held it in my hand and put it on the camera, you could just tell the quality was there. And in the end, I bought two, one for each of my cameras because I just never knew which lens I was gonna be putting on my camera. Sometimes I've got an RF lens, sometimes I have my old EF35 and my EF85 mounted to my cameras. So having two adapters now as I'm transitioning slowly all my lenses over is a good deal. I'll have a link in the description where you can pick up the Canon Control Ring Mount Adapter EF to EOS R. It's a fantastic tool and one you're definitely gonna want if you picked up an EOS R5 or an EOS R6. Thanks for watching. We've got a lot more fun stuff coming for you. So if you'd hit that subscribe button, we'd love it. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.